This case is about child custody that was determined, the parenting schedule, the rights and duties of mom and dad. It's an opinion that was just issued in March of 2022. And this is exactly what the court, what the judge is going to look at in a child custody case anywhere in the state of Texas. If you need to change your parenting, your custody with your co-parent after divorce is over, this is the case to pay attention to. It's an actual example. I have the case up to show you it was issued out of San Antonio, uh, publicly available information. And so essentially we had a mom and a dad who, were, who, who got divorced and they went to a mediation to get divorced. At Part as Friends, we recommend people go to mediations because it settles cases the vast majority of the time and it really helps people gather closure, go through the issues. So you go to a mediation and the point of it is to get a settlement agreement. That settlement agreement lists all the terms. When does mom have her children? When does dad have the child? What are the duties of mom and what are the duties of dad? Where do they have to live? What are they paying in support? So this case involved one where mother and father went to mediation and agreed. Now I want to show you the blog post that I have on this case and at this blog post you're able to you're able to download the case that I was just showing you because that's what this entire blog post is about. It's totally free. You just click this and you get the case. That way you can look at it and have access to all the laws right there. Okay, so basically in this case, uh, the parties went to mediation as we discussed and at the mediation they agreed that neither person was gonna pay child support. The parents were ordered to share equally in the time with the child the parents were ordered to raise the child in Medina County, Texas. Again, this is law that is, applies to all over the state of Texas. In this case, the mother agreed to pay all education expenses and healthcare expenses for the child. After the mediation, the mother filed for a custody modification. She filed for a mod. And when she did that, basically she won at the trial level and everything was changed. There was no more geographic restriction to Medina County. It changed to Bear County and contiguous counties. She no longer had to pay the healthcare expenses on her own. She no longer um, had equal shared time with dad. Instead, she had primary custody and she also had uh, child support ordered this time for her. So all of the terms that they agreed to at the mediation changed. And the father was unhappy, so he appealed the case to the higher court to ask for relief to say, this was our agreement. And this this basis that she's claiming that there was a change in circumstances to change all these orders, it's not true, there wasn't enough of a change, and so that's what you see him arguing in the case. So basically, the Court of Appeals looked at it and agreed with the trial court and mom won. What they said was that after these, this order was rendered, the mediation, the father didn't actually pick the child up on time, didn't exercise visitation like they had agreed to. He had kind of poor plans for how the child would be taken care of after school, and he didn't financially support the mother with healthcare costs and left her in a bad spot financially, which ultimately wasn't good for the child. That's what they said in the case. So when you're thinking about your case and whether you could win a child modification or child custody case, these kind of mundane, or I, I won't say mundane, but these everyday factors are things that the court is going to look at, such as does dad pick up the child on time? Is dad helping mom? Is mom helping dad? Is, is, does mom have good plans for the child? And so they're gonna look at those details in deciding. And the, this case is really great because it also goes over some of these laws that sometimes can be difficult to find. And if you download the case, you have it right there. So what all can the court order? They can order any type of parenting schedule. They can order any type of rights and duties as long as it's in the, the best interest of the child. So one of the big things that is litigated in a child custody modification case probably the most common thing that results in a lot of litigation is the idea of a geographic restriction. 
does the child have to stay here? Maybe mom is moving far away with the child, and so dad is suing to try to keep the child local, to keep an ongoing relationship with the child. These can be the most difficult cases to get through in a way that's fair for everybody. But the court is allowed to look at everything. And these are the factors that the law in this case lists. Um, the reasons that, that maybe the mom is moving, health reasons that might keep a person here or there, maybe there's a special hospital, leisure opportunities are even something that the court can look at. If there's a special school that, they, uh, that the child is going to, that would be a reason to keep them where they're at. If there's extended family that can help, that would, might be a reason to go. Special needs of any person in the family that's involved with the child care. Uh, special talents, if the child's in a special sports program, then taking them away could hurt th their well-being. Continuation for need of close by people, ability of both parents to relocate. So you get a picture that they're able to look at just about anything that could impact that child's life. And so as a lawyer or as a person just with a family, feel free to subscribe. We produce a lot of stuff like this that can run through um, substantive factors in a more easy to consume, easy to find way. Have a great day.